Man up. <laughs> I'm getting the lurgy. Welcome back to the shop. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll put that in. My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop, and I want to talk about, this is another corrections video. Uh, which one we talk about? Oh yes, exhausts. So I saw um, a video about doing this mod to an exhaust, which is just fucking rubbish. Jesus Christ. So this clown has a perforated baffle core for an exhaust. And the way these systems work basically is you have, um, this is not how they all look internally at all. There are loads of different ways of doing it, but this is the basic principle. What happens is, is you'll have this baffle core, you'll have a reflector cone or something, some kind of diverter or something. Yes, you can get aftermarket ones that are straight through, that's why they sound loud and all the rest of it. But generally what they do is they fill all this shit with cotton wool. I uh, should use a different colour, really. I oh, know, we'll use a different colour for the floor. Yeah, so basically you have this perforated tube. I'll show you one of them now on a picture. And then you have your outer actual can. And then these perforations. Are Sometimes you can have a reflector core and a blocked off core that diverts there. So as sound waves and, you know, as your exhaust gases, which are carried by um, pressure waves, sound waves, and all this, it ripples in the, the medium that we call uh, gases, airs, you know, fluids, and all this. It, travels through your exhaust and then what it does is it ends up making its way back into because it's generally at high pressure, it's a pressure wave, it's a sound wave and they have to go through these perforations and it's this this kind of thing where you are absorbing a lot of that noise because at the end of the day a vibration is just uh, uh, densities, it's air pressure being more here then less then more where's that fucking slinky? right so there is low pressure, there is high pressure, low pressure, high pressure, and it's just these moving, you know, like that. Or if I could do a better example, like that, you see, it's just it's just densities, that's what sound pressure, that's what pressure waves are, that's how you can hear me, is that my vocal cords, air is passing over them, and I am changing the spacings in a sense between them air molecules as they flow out of my fucking lungs and out of my gob. Um, so this fucking arsehole goes on about chopping up pressure waves, chopping up sound waves. Good fucking luck with that. Um, but anyway, there's, there's actual, this is not just a slagging contest or anything stupid like that. I was just poking fun at what he said there. Um, but basically what you can do is if you want to make it sound louder, obviously you can take this cotton wool out because that cotton wool, um, the padding, you know, the baffle material, it's stuff, it's atoms. And when the sound wave hits it, it you know, it imparts an energy onto it. Um, if you have a super smooth surface, then there are less atoms for that surface area. So when you speak, a lot of it's going to get reflected off. It'll absorb the energy, then kick it back out again because it just doesn't want it. Everything's trying to get to a nice level equilibrium and you're firing pressure waves, energy at it in a sense, basically momentum. You're firing momentum at it in the loosest way. And um, yeah, so you know when you see soundproofing, it's this cone foam stuff. Now the foam has loads of surface area, there's pockets, just like your lungs, like your bronchioli, loads of surface area for its volume. And they're in cone, so there's even shit three-dimensional, there's fucking loads of it. That's why it absorbs sound really fucking well. Foams generally absorb sound really well because they've got a massive, massive surface area for their volume. Any road going off one. So this absolute moron gets all this wire, little TIG wire, and just starts, it's almost like, oh look I've got a TIG wire, I've got a TIG welder, yeah we've all got a fucking TIG welder you prick. And he puts all this, and I'll show you a picture, I can show you a picture of the thing, we'll just cancel out the rest of it, but just so you know what I'm talking about, just so you don't think I'm talking shit, he crisscrosses. So if you look at the end of it like this, it comes out with this stupid idea and it's crisscrossing random and it goes, oh, it's fucking easy and it's it's literally Blue Peter. Yeah, it fucking is. It's just nonsense. And it chops up the sound waves. Now, he says it reckons it changes the sound. Yes, it changes the sound 
for the simple fact is you've got more fucking material in there. Like I say, the more atoms there are to absorb this energy, the you know the less intense the sound waves are going to be. If there's more stuff that it can pass this energy on to, yeah, you know what I mean? It's a, it's like fucking chucking a grenade into a crowd. You know, you're only going to kill the fucking first 10, 15 people around that grenade. The rest of everyone's going to be fucking fine because they're going to absorb that energy from that high explosive going off. A bit morbid, that. But anyway, um, the problem I have with this entire video, the reason why this is a con corrections video, is don't fucking do this. And I mean literally don't do this. Not, I disagree with this, don't do it. Don't fucking do it. You, it even says in this video that these bits will blow out and disappear. You know, it'll only last, I can't remember what he said, six months, a year, two years. Who gives a shit what he says? You've fucking got needles, rods. What they'll do is they'll get hot and they'll break at the bends where you've threaded them, where they're weaker. It's steel, you've bent it, which means that you've fucking uh, work hardened it on the corner. Now it's going to get hot and vibrate and all the rest of it. It's going to fucking snap and break. And when it breaks off, what you're doing, you're leaving fucking bits of fucking MIG wire all over the fucking countryside and the road. And all it needs... Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. This is what I mean about dangerous, right? This is what I mean about dangerous. All it needs is one piece of that bent wire. So you bend a piece of wire like this because you've, you've wrapped it through. All it needs to do is break there. All it needs to do is break there. And do you know what you've got? You've got a fucking great big fucking meat hook. That's what you've got. Bit of TIG wire and a fucking hook on the end. And it can lay on the side of the road. It can do whatever. And you go riding along it, or someone driving in the car will fuck the car drivers. You go riding along it on your bike and you'll pick up that meat hook and it could put a fucking hole in your tyre or whatever. And you get a blowout at fucking 70 mile an hour. Or whatever. It doesn't fucking matter. You're littering the fucking streets. It, I'm, I swear to God, you should be fucking arrested for that because... <laughs> It's literally. I did this when I was. I did this when I was 13. We had a we had a girl at school who was in a um, a wheelchair called Leanne. She had some of the kind of like motor neurons disease or some kind of issue, some kind of problem. And being a 13 year old little bastard, what did we do? She had a motorised wheelchair. We chucked a fucking couple of drawing pins on the floor because we were 13. You know what I mean? We were little shits. You know. And she got a puncture. And afterwards, I did feel bad about it. Poor bitch. But, you know, that's when I was 13, when I was a knobhead teenager. I'm still a knobhead now, but I'm not 13. You're littering the fucking road and the countryside with wire. And the thing is, you might say, yeah, well, it's only him. But if people fucking copy him because they think it's a good idea, which people say in the comments, awesome idea, I'm going to give that a go, blah, 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 blah. Now you've got fucking Harley Davidson riders just riding around, just fucking littering the road. I hope they fucking choke on their own fucking MIG wire. I really do. Oh, as you can see, these videos are about when it's dangerous and unsafe. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.